In this video, we will be introducing the real-time monitoring for your process. And this is not an exclusive use case for the chemicals industry. Any industry would be interested to monitor what is happening on the field while it is happening, to understand what is happening with the assets, and to find out if there is something wrong is about to happen. So I assume that the audience for this video would be everyone in the industry because they are facing a problem of monitoring the real-time processes due to the complexity. And this complexity comes from the two many process variables. The amount of the process variables is really, is really huge, around tens and hundreds of assets. And the data for these assets are scattered in multiple data sources. So you might have some data coming directly from the sensor, other data coming from the control system, DC, whether it's DCS or a PLC, other data they are coming for example from the maintenance system from the batch management system from the lab information management system and so on which can be overwhelming so we will see how the pi system can take all of these data together and using pi vision you would be able to build a display that shows you your process and it helps you to navigate through the different units and equipments so we will start from the view of the continuous chemicals division in the Chai Chem Enterprise. To go to the real-time monitoring, you can go to operations and from operations, you can go to the process overview. And by one click, we will be looking at the high level process overview where we have the feed and the final products from the column after the purification step. Also, we can monitor the temperatures for the different units together with the flow rates on the right hand side we can see also the major KPIs for performance conversion and quality if we'd like to find out what is happening with the reaction what we need to do is to click on reaction and then we will be looking at the reactor watching the level in real time we can also see a trend that shows us the historical time during the last week uh, the catalyst to feed ratio, impurities, pressure, and temperature. If you would like to go one step further, we can click on separation. And this will take us to the flush drum. We can see the efficiency on a gauge, and we can also see the level and uh, the different flow rates of the output products. One step further, we can go to the purification to see the distillation column, and we can see uh, the feed uh, temperature we can see also uh, the condenser real-time variables and the repoiler as well. And of course, using the trends, we can understand what is happening exactly with the feed and product flow, the temperatures of selected trays where we have a thermocouple measuring the temperature, the product impurities, and the overhead and bottom floor flow uh, of the distillation column. One step further, is to click to on, a, on the tank farm and to see the product while it is being stored in the tanks and getting ready to be shipped to the customers. So you can see here the status of the valves. You can see the level inside the tanks. This view shows us that the Pi system can be used to collect the data from all the interfaces, from all the protocols, all the control systems and sensors and uh, have them in one place and using Pi Vision we can visualize the plant from the first step which is the feed until the last step which is the storage and we can also go one level further to the tank itself so in this example we saw the Pi system capability to collect the data from multiple systems keep them in one place and using Pi Vision we were able to visualize the real-time data by tracing the product from the feed until the stored the product in, into the tank ready to be shipped to the customers. And this is applicable in all the other industries, not only chemicals. So you can customize these dashboards using only the scale of dragging and dropping.